Bonjour, je suis à Paris. Hey everyone, my name's Nick and I'm currently traveling around the world. This here is my video for Paris and over the next five minutes we're going to find out if the city of love is really worth it. it it's, it's probably worth it. I arrived in the land of wine and cheese and first did one of those hop on hop off buses. As a concept I like these as it gives you a broad view of the city and provides you with a ton of information. But at 33 euros I found this overpriced especially when a metro card and a copy of the Lonely Planet will do basically the same job. Hey everyone, it's a gorgeous day in Paris and I'm at the Louvre. Day two now and the epicness and space of the Louvre was actually awe-inspiring in a way that this video could never do justice. However, when it came to the Mona Lisa, I just didn't get it. Why some people have actually fallen in love with this piece astounds me. There were far more impressive paintings to see, and I wonder if maybe at this point she's just famous for being famous. At least to those of us who aren't art scholars. Finally, I checked out the Venus de Milo, which is stupidly named after the Roman goddess of love. Because, as it's a Greek sculpture, it really should be named Aphrodite de Milo. Not a lot of people know this, but there's actually a secret entrance to the Louvre. If you don't mind missing out on the big glass pyramid, you can walk off to the side and down into a mall area. It's a much shorter line and you don't have to stand out in the hot sun. The next day I checked out the grand symbol of wealth and equality, also known as the Palace of Versailles. Now the palace is kinda cool, if you're into old shit. But what's even better are the gardens, which are massive and more importantly free. Also, they're a great place to take a nap when you get sick of the history. Lastly, I ventured 20 metres underground to explore the catacombs which expand over 200 miles and house 6 million Parisians. Well, dead Parisians. These were an unexpected favourite of mine, in a creepy kind of way. However, only a small portion is open to the public as some moron once got lost in them and his body wasn't discovered for 11 years. Walking through here really gives you an appreciation for life and clean oxygen. So some final thoughts on Paris. There's a lot of people there trying to sell you cheap crap and if you want to get it that's absolutely fine but if you don't give them a wide berth as they'll slap a bracelet on your wrist and then try to charge you for it. Also, if you're someone who has a selfie stick, just know that at places like the Venus de Milo and the Mona Lisa, you've got to be asked to put that away as there are just too many people to have them out. Personally, I felt no desire to go up the Eiffel Tower as at the end of the day it's just a high place and there are plenty of other places around Paris to get a view of the city. However, a cool thing to do is to get a bottle of wine, some cheese and crackers and go and sit on the lawn underneath the Eiffel Tower. Really relaxing way to spend an afternoon. And finally, Notre Dame is amazing, but what's even better is a small church round the back called Saint Chapelle. It does cost to go up, but it's absolutely worth it, especially if you can go during sunrise or sunset because it looks gorgeous in there. So at the end of the day, was Paris worth it? Yeah, absolutely, of course it was. It's a tad overpriced, but if you want the full experience, you're gonna have to spend the money. And I do recommend getting an audio guide at places like the Louvre and the Catacombs. 
So thanks for watching everyone, that was my Paris adventure. I'm next going to be hitting up Amsterdam in the Netherlands, which should be a lot of fun. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe to get that and the rest of my European travels.